Hello, and welcome to Odds and Ends, the Thailand Courts of Justice. My name is Dave. I'm a lawyer living and working here in Thailand uh, for about the past 11 years. Uh, this is uh, a video in response to Doug Stein's poll that just closed, which was a great poll, by the way, and of course, great content always by Doug. But the last line there kind of got to me. Uh, and, and that line was something to the effect of, you cannot expect the systems of Thailand to do anything for you. Uh, in a sense, you cannot expect the systems of any country to do anything for you unless you take action. So of course, they're not just going to come find your problem and fix it for you. But I think uh, there were some implications in that statement as well. One being uh, an implication that the system is uh, weak, uh, a fair criticism to some extent, and two, uh, that the system was corrupt. Uh, I will uh, take somewhat of an exception to that, although there is corruption in the Thai judicial system like there is corruption in every system on the planet. And the extent at which that will affect you uh, is probably, I would say, very, very little. But we'll get into that. All right, Thai courts. Understanding a little bit about the Thai courts, Thai judges are appointed directly by the king. This is a very source of pride where they sit, have an audience with his majesty and uh, are appointed. My uh, interest of full disclosure, my, my wife was appointed uh, to the judiciary by, uh, by the prior king, rest in peace, his majesty Rama IX, which was a great source of pride. And from that pride comes a special social, social status as well, and also a, a sort of fierce sense of independence. Um, whether or not that doesn't, uh, I'm not saying that there's any problems, but just so you can get a little idea of where, uh, the, how the judges view themselves. Okay. Then you look at the, another worldwide phenomena is that bad lawyers or good lawyers who get a bad result in a court, uh, consistently, uh, blame the judges, right? It could have been a mistake that the lawyer made. They'll blame the judge. Uh, that happens a lot here. And I, and I think. Uh, especially if you've get, got some bad lawyers, uh, because the quality of the lawyers here is very inconsistent, uh, that foreigners will go on the cheap and then say that they got a bad result because the system is corrupt as opposed to them just having a crappy uh, lawyer. The number of times I've seen that is a lot more than the number of times I've seen uh, any sort of blatant idea of corruption. Political influence is a thing. It's a real thing. Uh, the constitutional court, people often complain about that. But um, but that's different. That's a different court system. It's not the courts of justice. It's a, it's a completely different body. Um, and with the cases you guys are going to be bringing, a couple million dollars, right? Uh, tops, I would say, for, for most. Um, the case is not big enough, and the people involved are not going to be big enough to have any sort of sway over the judiciary. Uh, these sort of straight out bribery of judges claims, I guess they, they, <laughs> I guess they happen. Again, I haven't seen it. And if my wife is taking bribes, I will tell you, she's not sharing. Uh, and <laughs> so I would, uh, I would not overestimate the corruption and the direct kind of corruption like that. And the people that you're dealing with are, a lot of them are going to be criminals, right? <laughs> and so they don't, the judges don't like criminals. It's not like they want to, you know, in fact, they will probably come down harder on their own uh, people for making the country look bad because, again, there's a nationalism and a source of pride. So I'm not buying that whole thing. Another big problem you're going to have is the official language is Thai. So all documents need to be translated into Thai. You're going to have to translate through an interpreter or sorry, you're going to have to testify through an interpreter. Right. That doesn't help. It doesn't help your case. So that's another big problem why foreigners get bad results. I don't think it's any sort of uh, bias against a foreigner in particular. In fact, I've seen the opposite, uh, especially you go to the labor court. Foreigners get a very fair shake at the labor court working for Thai employers. Uh, third weakness, I would say, or problem is the record. Okay. In a U.S. court, you got a court reporter that takes down all of the testimony. In Thailand, the judges have a handheld recorder that take down the record. So this is a huge source of uh, a lack of transparency and maybe they don't get all the facts, so there's no way to know what facts they're they're getting. So it's very important that your lawyers are good enough to understand what facts to emphasize and to make sure through the course of the trial and the hearings what is try to ensure what's making the record. Okay, so those are three little bit of things. There's problems, yes. Is it as bad as everyone thinks? No. Is the system useless? Absolutely not. Are there weaknesses? Sure. 